Ooh, let me wake up. I'm tired. Come on, lock in. Lock in for the people. Come on. Yo, y'all know what it is. Y'all know it's Pokemon Mark Woody King. We bet with another video. Look, me, I've never been like much of a car guy. Like, I've wanted to. I wanted to be one of those niggas who can look at a car and be like, yo, that's a fucking Subaru S732 XXV5. I want to be one of those niggas. I'm not gonna lie. I fucking love cars, a little, but it never stuck in my brain. I was always inter interested in other things. You know what I mean? So, but I'm hoping this video today will help me get locked into this community. But before we get into that, Guys, I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of this year. We're, we're like halfway there. We're almost there. So please, yo, everyone show love. If y'all if y'all enjoy these videos, y'all have a good time. Y'all laugh at these videos. Please subscribe, like, comment, do all that because it really does help. I'll be honest. I know y'all hear it every time, but it really does help. The video we're watching today is Black Streamer Car Collections Ranked. All right. I'm trying to get insight into all the streamer cars. I know what's the name. Asian God Arari. Pretty much all in them, I'll be honest. But um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see who has the nicest cars. We're gonna, we're gonna go through it. All right, let's get straight into this. From electric garbage to insane modded Mopars, today we're ranking every black streamer's car collection. Jidian bought a deep blue Tesla Model 3 because it was his dream eh, car. Mid. My boy mid. thought he was sleep, but batteries are trash. I had got myself a Tesla. I've been had this. I got this back in December. All thanks to the most high and you guys, but I've been having a problem with it lately. I just told you. 20th place. At 28 years old, Berlizzi bought himself a Polaris Slingshot, a Ooh. super fun three wheeler that outputs That's 200 horses. Is that, is that like, would you ever have that as your main? Would you ever have that as, as your main car? I don't know if I could run that as my main, like my, my like three day car. That would be a fun car to have. You know what I mean? Just have on, on the side road. Other ride is a Chevy Silverado Texas edition. Okay, yeah. American choices. 19th rank, Dante Anthony Etheridge. Yes, okay. I'm Dante. Is top five best reactors in the game. Dante came far in 20. Exactly. And I'm about to be top five too. I'm about to be top five soon. Y'all know what it is. In 16, he bought a Mopar you didn't even know existed. A Dodge Dart SXT. Basically a Hellcat from Timu. He eventually upgraded to a Silver Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport. Classic oh, off-roader. Who made an even... I'm not gonna lie. I think, what's it called? We're putting Belize above him. I might put Belize above him. I'm not gonna lie. Better choice was Annoying, who didn't buy an annoying car. You think it's Who's so this? fucking funny, huh? He purchased a 2018 Mercedes E-Class at 22 years old. A oh. beautiful accomplishment. This is oh. about $50,000. And even though German sedans are great, awakened man, Saluminati, stays true to his U.S. roots. October 2020, Javante got a sleek silver 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Ooh. bought at the Cadillac Corvette. dealership. It's now his okay. main whip. Before the CS7 days, he owned a blue Dodge Challenger Scat oh. and a dark green Challenger. He Challenge is tough. Challenge is cold. I fuck with the challenge heavy. Even before, okay. a red Mustang convertible was also in the garage for a moment, and he wanted to make crazy customs to it, but unfortunately, he got into an accident with it, so it never happened. Let's not forget okay. his pimp oh, out Dodge Charger with chrome wheels, a goal of his since he was a child. It's cool to see people that stay true to their taste from oh, A shit. to Z. 16th place. I know what car I'm getting. The first car when I start making money is going to be... Either 2016 or 2018 Mustang GT. That's probably that's gonna be my first car when I when I start getting bread. That's the first car, and then whenever with bread, with bread, that's a different thing. But yeah, for when you start when I start making bread, 2016, 2018, uh, fucking Mustang GT. For Saluminati, Cash Nasty did the same. He went okay. nasty on us. Mm, with his car, yellow Corvette car. C7 good Stingray. Car. This car is a very popular choice because it's flashy and yeah. relatively fast, but it's not that expensive. You're looking at 40 to 70. You can get a Corvette for 40 to 70K? Tell me why I was thinking this is this is easily 150, 200K. You can get this for 40 to 70? I, I see these on roads and I'm like, okay, some people got bread. Some niggas are just trying to look like they got bread. Okay. Seventy thousand hey. dollars for a pristine condition one. You'll get the looks and the performance without draining your whole bank. When mm. Cash is on his classy vibe, he pulls out the Mercedes Benz E Class Cabriolet. Light stuff. Fifteenth rank. Like we all know FaZe took over the streaming scene yep. these past few years. And when it. Silky joined, he couldn't help himself but go crazy on his car. Yeah, okay. I'll just say the streaming world. Because I was going to say, why are we acting like FaZe hasn't been running shit? I know news FaZe is, you know what I mean? It's hitting numbers, hitting numbers, whatever. But FaZe has been huge from time. Why are we acting like FaZe, this is a new thing, you know what I mean? 
car choices. He bought a brand new 2020 Mercedes-Benz C63 S AMG Coupe in white, his absolute first car at 23 years old. This is no subtle ride though. It's a V8 Biturbo that makes 671 horsepower. To make it even better, Silky started doing mods to it, wrapping it, adding custom wheels to it, and underglow lights, making it a one of one. Definitely a beast that deserves 14th place. Moving on, Clack Boy Max isn't really a bragger. His one and only car is a BMW X6 M Competition, which is one of the best deals. Are we putting these? Are we putting these over the Corvette? Maybe I put Sylvie's over the Corvette. Are we putting this over the Corvette? I feel like we gotta put these. Uh, we gotta put this down like two positions. The drivers out there, W pick. Some like BMW, others rather go all in with a Lamborghini. That's what Zias did, getting a white 2021 Lamborghini Urus. And guess what? B. Lou had to this buy so the calm, same man. as his brother, a satin black one for him though. Just imagine, you and your best Such friend going like with the same two hundred and fifty thousand dollar cars. Isn't that a dream? The dream is also to get on flights level, a big AMG level. In in fact, he owns the perfect Benz oh. Duo, a white G63, and a matte gray GT63S. When you have those mm. two, you're basically all set. No cap. 10th rank for flight. Oh, I show okay. speed okay. is even I more set. It. Yeah, he doesn't only like jumping over cars, he likes collecting them too. At 19 cool. years old, speed got a Ronaldo themed Lamborghini Huracan. A la <laughs> the Huracan is, is the Huracan is a closed car. The Huracan is a, is a beautiful fucking car. Uh, Lamborghini wow. Urus and the Tesla Cybertruck. The Huracan is undoubtedly the hit piece of the collection. Let's be honest. That, that's a good collection. It's a Huracan, a Urus, and a fucking Tesla, whatever that is. The Cybertruck. That's a collection right there. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Let's go. Nobody's bold enough to do some rap like this. Only speed can pull it off. As for your age, like every goddamn celebrity, he bought a Cybertruck. Okay, we're doing it wrong. When I'm saying Cybertruck, I'm saying it just because they go together. Cybertrucks are fucking shit, and y'all know I fucking hate Cybertrucks. They're fucking disgusting. So I don't know why we're having them so high on this list. Let's be honest with ourselves. They're not this high on the list. These are maybe 18, 19. The Speed Collection deserves to be up there just because of everything else. Cybertruck's shit. The Forgiato treatment, though. But as soon as he got it, he crashed it. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, right? A cool car doesn't mean it's a good car, you know what I'm saying? But Rage got up, in my esteem, as his favorite car is a white BMW M8 competition. Ooh. Honestly, it's hard to beat a nice, clean M8. Paid 150 grand for it, mm. cash. His SUV is a red Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat. That's pretty tough, Ooh. too. I'd say the next... Ooh, I like this. I fuck with this. I, this is, I didn't even know about this one. Did SRT, what was it? What is this one? Is a red Dodge Durango SR SRT Durango. This is cold. I might have to keep this one in, in the vault because this is that. This is cold. T Hellcat. Cold. That's pretty tough too. I'd say the next step for Rage is to start modding his car. Eighth place. Phantom's three car journey is beautiful. The big boy started with a 2008 Honda Accord V6. A pretty fair start. When you begin with a Honda and finish with a stage two Lamborghini Urus wide body, huh, you definitely did something right. His purple Urus was fully done by RDB. Yeah, I know the Urus is overdone, but the purple colors, purple colors tough. I don't know, I, I expected to come in this video and hate a little bit more, but I feel like everyone has pretty much the same cars. <laughs> but like, I wanted to come and hate on people, some, some people's car collection. Like we know the fucking, the big body Tesla shit. That's just ass, like we know that. But other than that, like you can't really hate too much, can you? I don't know. LA, and it has become one of the most recognizable cars in the game. Phantom's favorite whip though is the Green Goblin, a 2018 BMW M4 competition, which is the car he had the most fun in, period. 500 horses, perfect spec, 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds, you know what I'm saying? A lot of fun. Seventh rank for Phantom. Oh, Kai Sinet's four car journey is stunning. Four keys, four oh, engines, God. starting with his blacked out Cadillac, which he I qualifies get a Cadillac as an AMP. I want to get a Cadillac. Mobile. It's Cadillac spacious, luxurious, perfect for transporting multiple you wanna people. You want to see my car? You want to see my car? Yup, that's my whip right here. About a 20 seater, two door, or yeah, 20 seater, two door. Motherfucking, yeah, yeah. This is what we, this is what we be riding up in. We be moving. I'm not gonna lie. We be, we be hitting speeds. We hitting speeds. I got a driver. I got a driver in there too. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all, give me on this next next because I should, I should have got top, at least top 15.
people at a time. When he's feeling selfish, Sinat hops in his red Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, the classic. Kai also has the key to a red Lamborghini Urus S. The S variant outputs 657 horsepower, and his first car was the black Mercedes AMG GT53. Why not the That's his first car? Bro, my first car was a fucking Kia Optima. It's a fucking 2016 Kia Optima. That's his first. You know what? That's motion. 63 yes though. That's motion. I don't know, but still, it's a great car. Sixth place. Let's talk about Duke Dennis, who owns less cars than Kai, but they have more personality. So he's ranked okay. higher. Duke's been the Jeep lover. Mm. lover. He owned the Jeep Wrangler that he got rid of to buy another Jeep Wrangler. 392 Jeep's Rubicon closed. this time. Wrapped it chrome green, his color of choice. And he did the same on his new Lamborghini Urus with a Mansory Ooh. kit that looks distinguishingly okay. good. It was originally a silver Urus S, but right now he took it to the next level for sure. His Ooh. Dodge Challenger Black Ghost received the same. Oh, treatment. so he wrapped them all green. Yeah, everything that green tough. No, it's okay. the green ghost right oh. now. Huh. We have Doctor Doom, Green Lantern, and Hulk right here. That's smart though. You know what I mean? If you wrap all your shit in like one color, or like and like you're like you have a notable color. When people see that color coming down the street, they're like, "Hey, that's you. That's hey, that's, cool. that's cool. That's cool." Playing that's cool. fifth cool. rank. OG DDG is no different to an expense fetish. It's well known that Daryl is not an actual car guy, but his car purchases throughout the years don't prove that statement. From owning a G-Wagon, buying a BMW i8 and giving it away, then buying another one. Cashing out on a Mercedes Maybach S-Class and eating Chipotle in it. Going as far as getting a Lamborghini. Yeah, what happened to the Maybachs? Custom what happened to the Maybachs? I used to hear about Maybachs everywhere. Maybach music. Like I used to hear about Maybachs everywhere. That was that was like the thing. I don't feel like anyone's chatting about Maybachs no more. I don't feel like I hear anyone talk about Maybachs no more. That was I think that was the first time I heard Maybach in years. Yeah. Some brown wheels and all white Rolls Royce rate is so cold. Rolls Royce Cullinan and Cadillac Escalade. Oh yeah, Challenger Red Eye too. He went stupid. Fourth place. On the podium right now, we have DJ Academics. Livingston hey, Alex has Academics been on the scene like since I can't remember. My guy's driveway is no joke, though. $1.5 million. That's the estimated value of his garage. First and foremost, we got his 2022 Audi R8 RWD V10. One of 30. Black Panther Edition. Bought it for $300,000 cash. This is the fastest car in his collection. It's all stock, black out with red details and red leather interior. Ooh, and next, like we like have crazy. the all-purpose Flex Mobile. His yellow Lamborghini Urus Pearl Capsule Edition. Paid 300 grand for it too. Fun fact, mm. while he waited for his Urus to be delivered, he bought the R8 in the meantime. Real ball of behavior. This Bumblebee is not for the faint of heart. It's his favorite car to drive on a daily. When Kendrick and Drake got into their beef, reactors got paid. Academics brought a Mercedes Maybach S-Class to celebrate his success mm. and that crazy beef month. Paid $200,000 for it. Cash too. It's two-tone and it's the most comfortable car he's ever driven. The first luxury car he bought was a classic 2017 Benz G-Wagon. $180,000. Okay. Fourth car, a 2023 Audi RS7, oh, wow. which is the master sedan from Audi. His is blue with a chrome kit on it. This is his most reliable car. He drives it every day. Two Audis, we live it good. Great collection, my brother. Third. He only four because of how much it was. How much cars he had. I don't know. I didn't see anything that jumped out with me and be like, yeah, these cars are like are nicer than yours. I think just because he has more. Like if I came if I had if I have 45 Toyota Corollas, it's gonna look like my, my car collection's deep. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know about that. When it comes down to JDM, there's a small few streamers to do it. One of them is Bruce Drop Em Off. Bruce had a Tokyo Drift fantasy since he was a jit. And when he had the means to do it, he went straight to Japan All right, to Bruce, get his hands on the Nissan GTR R34 Skyline. Mm. His first car was an Infinity G37. He upgraded it, okay. but then got rid of it. I mean, when you own a red Dodge Demon 170 and a matte black Maybach S-Class 2, you don't need no G37 anymore. Feel me? Bruce's fleet is golden. Second place. Yeah, I don't know if that was third. I don't know if that was third. I don't know if that was third. But after the, the, the Nissan, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful fucking car, I'll be honest. But I don't know I don't know if I'm putting that third. Am I crazy for that? Am I crazy for not putting that third? I don't know. It's not, I, don't, I don't know. That's not me. But who could be number one? Think for a minute. We cover DDG, Bruce, Kyle, 
Guys, yo, who's the, who's the guest? Who's the guest? Number one, what content creator, black content creator, do we know has a, has a collection, crazy collection? Why can't I even think of nobody? Oh, Asian? The Rari's, the Rari's, the Rari's, the Rari's, the Rari's. Who would the have the best car collection out of all the streamers? It's in the, the Rari. Well, for us, <laughs> it's none other I didn't even than pre it. Yo. Agent Zero Zero. <laughs> yo. While Din went from fat to skinny, his collection went from skinny to fat. You get me? Jesus really Christ. fat. Slapped. He's a real <laughs> Yo, take a look. Here's the AMP members 668 horsepower manual Cadillac CT5 V Blackwing that is like modded to Batmobile levels of craziness. This is nuts. Like we see cold. a sand Dodge Ram 1500 TRX in the fleet too, mm. wrapped by Angie Raps Atlanta. This is one of the most powerful pickup trucks in the game. His baby yeah. blue BMW M4 is his possession he went drifting with it and did all kinds of things with it what do you mean by that he also Crazy. owns a purple audi sq5 a tesla model s plaid that i'm less of a fan of and at one point he owned a mini cooper I'm mini cooper might be the toughest car so far i'm not gonna lie that might be what that might be what in my opinion put it to number one the mini cooper might be them hey it might might be the difference maker I'm just saying. I'm confused. I'm confused right now, G. And a camo Mercedes-Benz CLA 45 that looked like some Call of Duty type ish. But I'm sure this is not the end of Agent's car collection, though. More crazy whips to come, right, Agent? Yeah. The skies belong to me. Nowhere to run. He's already first rank, and that is straight facts. Now tell us if you thought this rank, this rank was what. pretty accurate. I don't know we skipped the Rari, but our list of black streamers. But I, li I like it. There was a few I would have, I would have switched up around the beginning, just because I, I don't know about the specs of the cars as much. So I was just going off looks for some of it. There's just too many motherfucking Euruses. Five, six, seven is all Eurus niggas. But they have good collections, so you know I can't really say nothing. But yeah, I like the list. I think it's a good list. I think it's a really good list. I wanted to judge the car. I wanted to judge it more. But what it felt like, it just felt like a, a nigga who couldn't afford the car is hating. Like I feel like if Mister Hating on it, it's like it's because you can't have it. Like, it's pretty much all I could, all I could think of the whole time I was watching that video. How can I hate from outside the club? You know what I mean? But no, really good video. Uh, I'm happy for all those all those huge streamers who got their shit. They live in their childhood dreams and shit. Um, that's motion. I'm gonna catch y'all next time. You already know it's cool, come on, cool K, and I'm gonna see ya.